Picture the vibrant city of Rio de Janeiro in 1985, a time when the world was about to witness the birth of a musical phenomenon, rock in Rio. This wasn't just a spontaneous combustion of rock and roll in the heart of Brazil. It was the brainchild of a visionary named Roberto Medina. Medina, a man with a dream to bring together music and unity on a grand scale, conceived rock in Rio amidst a nation grappling with a transitioning political landscape. Brazil was stepping away from a military dictatorship and the people were yearning for freedom and expression. Medina saw this opportunity and seized it, believing that music could be the catalyst for change and unity. He envisioned a festival that would break boundaries, a festival that would unite people regardless of their differences, all under the banner of rock and roll. And so, against the backdrop of a city known for its samba, Rock in Rio was born, ready to shake the world's music scene. The first Rock in Rio festival, a 10-day extravaganza, was nothing short of historic. When the floodlights illuminated the stage in January 1985, the world stood still. The ambitious lineup was a veritable who's who of rock royalty, with both local and international artists. From Brazil, there were legends like Erasmo Carlos, Rita Lee, and the heavy metal band Sepultura. From abroad, the festival brought the likes of Queen, Iron Maiden, ACDC, and many more. Beyond just the music, the festival was a celebration of unity, diversity, and the power of rock and roll. It was a testament to Brazil's vibrant music scene and a warm welcome to the world. The massive audience turnout was a sight to behold. Over one and a half million music enthusiasts flocked to the festival, making it one of the largest gatherings of its kind in history. The festival was not just a concert, it was a cultural milestone, a turning point in Brazil's history. It was a bold declaration that Brazil was ready to take its place on the world stage. The festival's success also marked a significant shift in the nation's music industry. It proved that Brazil could host an event of such magnitude and attract top international artists, forever changing the country's entertainment landscape. The first Rock in Rio was a manifestation of the spirit of Brazil, vibrant, passionate, and unafraid to dream big. It was a testament to the power of music to bring people together, to create unforgettable moments, and to inspire change. It was a celebration of rock and roll, yes, but it was also a celebration of Brazil and its people. With Queen, Iron Maiden, and ACDC headlining, the first Rock in Rio set a high bar for music festivals worldwide. But more than that, it set a precedent for what a music festival could be. A celebration of music, culture, and unity on a scale never seen before. From its humble beginnings, Rock in Rio has evolved into a global phenomenon. What began as a seven-day music festival in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, in the early 80s, has grown into a multi-continent, multi-genre, multi-day celebration of music, culture, and community. The evolution of Rock in Rio is a testament to the universal language of music and its power to unite people across borders. From its home ground in Brazil, Rock in Rio spread its wings, and in 2004, the festival made its first international appearance in Lisbon, Portugal. The success of Rock in Rio Lisbon opened the floodgates, and soon, the festival made its way to Madrid in Spain, and eventually to the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas in the United States. Each new location brought with it unique cultural flavors, enhancing the festival's rich tapestry of music and entertainment. While Rock in Rio's geographical expansion is noteworthy, equally impressive is the festival's evolution in terms of musical diversity. In the beginning, Rock in Rio was, as the name suggests, a rock music festival. However, recognizing the changing musical landscape and the varied tastes of its audience, the festival began to diversify its lineup. Today, you'll find an eclectic blend of genres at Rock in Rio, from pop, reggae, and electronic dance music, to heavy metal, punk, and of course, rock. This evolution reflects the festival's commitment to inclusivity and its endeavor to cater to a broad spectrum of musical tastes. Despite these changes, Rock in Rio has never lost sight of its roots or its cultural significance. It continues to be a platform for both established and upcoming artists to showcase their talents. It's a place where legends are made and new stars are born. Over the years, Rock in Rio has played host to some of the biggest names in music from Queen, ACDC, and Guns N' Roses, to Beyonce, Rihanna, and Ed Sheeran, to name just a few. At its core, Rock in Rio is more than just a music festival. It's a celebration of unity, diversity, and the power of music. It's a place where people from all walks of life come together to share their love for music, to dance, to sing, to laugh, and to create memories that last a lifetime. It's a testament to the enduring appeal of live music and the shared experience it creates. In its over 40 years of existence, Rock in Rio has grown, adapted, and evolved, 
all while staying true to its founding ethos of celebrating music and community. It has embraced change, welcomed diversity, and continuously pushed boundaries, setting trends in the world of music festivals. Rock in Rio, much like the music it celebrates, has remained fresh and relevant, continuously setting trends in the world of music festivals. Beyond the music, Rock in Rio has made its mark in more ways than one. Let's delve into how this colossal event has become a catalyst for change, not just in Rio, but around the world. Firstly, consider the immense boost to tourism Rock in Rio provides. Each edition of the festival attracts hundreds of thousands of music lovers from around the globe. These visitors don't just attend the festival, they explore Rio, immersing themselves in the city's vibrant culture, enjoying its beautiful landscapes, and savoring its unique cuisine. This influx of tourists significantly stimulates the local economy, creating jobs and supporting local businesses. But Rock in Rio isn't just about economic impact, it's also a platform for promoting social causes. Since its inception, the festival has been a front-runner in championing environmental conservation. The festival's Amazonia project, for instance, raised awareness about the deforestation of the Amazon rainforest and raised funds to plant millions of trees. This initiative shows how Rock in Rio uses its influence to make a tangible difference in the world. Moreover, Rock in Rio has taken significant strides towards promoting social inclusion. It's one of the few festivals that prioritizes accessibility, ensuring that everyone, regardless of physical ability, can enjoy the music and the atmosphere. The festival also shines a spotlight on diverse artists, promoting a wide range of musical styles and cultures. And let's not forget the power of music itself. Rock in Rio unites people from different backgrounds, fostering a sense of community and shared experience. It's a celebration of music's ability to transcend boundaries and to bring us together in harmony. Thus, Rock in Rio has proven to be more than just a music festival. It's a force for positive change. It's a testament to how music and community can come together to create an event that not only entertains but inspires, influences, and impacts the world in profound ways. Today, Rock in Rio stands as a testament to the power of music and unity. A beacon of harmony and entertainment, it has etched its name in the annals of history as one of the world's largest music festivals. The magnitude of Rock in Rio today is simply astounding. It draws people in from all corners of the world, painting a vivid picture of unity and diversity. From the thunderous beats of rock and roll to the smooth rhythms of jazz, the pulsating energy of pop to the soul-stirring melodies of blues, the festival is a grand symphony of diverse musical representation. Each year, the stages of Rock in Rio become a platform for both established artists and budding talents. It's not just about the big names, but also about the fresh faces ready to make their mark on the world stage. This commitment to showcasing a wide spectrum of musical talents sets Rock in Rio apart from the rest. And it's a commitment that continues to be honored year after year. But the significance of Rock in Rio extends well beyond its musical prowess. It has become a cultural phenomenon, a symbol of Brazil's vibrant spirit and its unwavering celebration of arts and culture. The festival is more than just a gathering of music lovers. It's a global community brought together by a shared love for music and a common desire for unity. Moreover, the festival's commitment to sustainability, with initiatives like Amazonia Live, further elevates its significance. Through these efforts, Rock in Rio not only entertains but also educates and inspires, promoting environmental consciousness among its attendees. From its birth in the heart of Brazil to its global domination, Rock in Rio remains a vibrant celebration of music, culture, and humanity. It's not just a music festival, it's a testament to the enduring power of music, the beauty of diversity, and the indomitable spirit of unity.